Welcome to our lecture online. Let's do another example of how to find the current through a three parallel branch circuit. Here are different kind of values. We have a 2 ohm resistor, a 5 ohm resistor, a 20 ohm resistor in the bottom branch, and 15 amps of current entering the branch point. If you have the three equations ready to go, it shouldn't be that difficult to find the current in each of the three branches. Let's start with the top branch, and so we'll grab this equation right here. We can then say that I1 is equal to, in the numerator, the product of the resistances in the other two branches. It would be 5 times 20. Oop, I'll just go ahead and use the dot to make it easier. So 5 times 20 divided by, in the denominator, it will be the product of uh, the sum of these three products. R1 times R2, R1 times R3, and R2 times R3. So first, R1 times R2, which is 2 times 5, plus R1 times R3, which is 2 times 20, plus R2 times R3, which is 5 times 20. And that, of course, is all multiplied times the total current, which in this case is 15 amps. Simplifying this, in the numerator we get 100 divided by 10 plus 40 plus 100, all multiplied times 15 amps. And so this simplifies to 100 divided by 150 times 15 amps. And of course, 15 divided by 150 is 1 tenth, multiplied times 100. That means this is 10 amps of current in branch 1. Now that we have the value of the denominator, that will be the same for all three equations. Notice that the denominator is identical in all three equations. Now we can say that I2 is equal to the product of the two resistors in the other two branches, R1 and R3. So that would be 2 times 20 divided by the total sum of, that would be uh, 150 and multiplied times 15 amps. I2 will be equal to 40 divided by 150 times 15 amps. And 15 divided by 150 is 1 tenth. 1 tenth times 40 is equal to 4. Therefore, I2 is equal to 4 amps. And finally, we can find I3, which is equal to the product of the resistors of the other two branches, R1 and R2, which is 2 times 5, divided by the denominator, which is always going to be the same, which is a total of 150, multiplied times the 15 amps which is equal to 10 divided by 150 multiplied times 15 amps. Of course, 15 amps divided by 150 is one-tenth of an amp times 10 is equal to one amp, which means the current I3 is equal to one amp. Now, to check, notice since the total current is 15 amps, the sum of the three currents, I1, I2, and I3 to combine should equal 15 amps. And if you can tell, 10 amps plus 4 amps is 14 amps, plus 1 amp is 15 amps, so it looks like the sum of the three indeed equals 15 amps, and so therefore those equations do seem to work. And that's how you find the current when you have three parallel branches.